Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? All right guys, so in front of me here, I have a portable flash drive. It is called the iXpand Flash Drive Go from SanDisk, okay? So what this does is it's gonna give you some external memory space. This one is actually used for an iPhone. Um, and you're running out of space, you can actually plug this thing in and then you can save some of your videos and pictures onto this uh, little gadget right here, which is really cool. I actually um, have one already, okay? I bought one already and I actually did use it. I've been using it and uh, I really love it, all right? I do a lot of videos and pictures. So I bought another one here and I'm gonna be using this one as well. At the same time, might as well, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this unit right here and then I'm also gonna show you guys how to uh, use it as well okay so it's really good you can actually buy another one too it's called the um, the iX band Lux there's a Lux one as well if you guys are using like a uh, Android phone I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing and then we're gonna go ahead and use it so that way you guys uh, see how it is and how it works and all that all right Okay, so before I unbox it, we're going to go over this box real quick here. Okay, so once again, it is called the SanDisk iXpand Flash Drive Go. And the maximum space that you can get on this one is 256 gigabyte. okay? As you guys can see right there, it says free up space on your iPhone or iPad. So you can use this one for your iPhone or iPad as long as it uses the lightning connector, okay? Automatically backs up your photos and videos okay so they got some pictures here so it's it, it use a USB 3 to lightning okay so that's it right there iPhone iPad and then in the back real quick here easy or three easy steps plug your iXpand flash drive go into your phone and uh, number two download the iXpand drive app at the prompt, copy photos and videos to iXpand Flash Drive Go. Like I mentioned earlier, I am using one already, but I really like it, so I bought a second one, which is this one, okay? And uh, might as well share with you guys. So right here it says, cut right there, okay? So we're gonna cut right there. It seems like it's still pretty hard to take apart. We're just gonna rip it up and see what happens here. <laughs> That's just the back part. All right, who cares? We're just gonna rip it up. Because we're gonna no longer need the box, so it's okay. Let's just rip it up. I don't know why they make it so tough. Even the first one when I bought it, it was hard too, so I had to cut the whole thing up just like this one. All right, so you just gotta destroy the box to get it out so it's easier here. And like I mentioned, it is very, very convenient for you to save your videos and pictures onto this little unit here on the go, okay? So if you guys are on the go and then you're basically using up your iPhone storage, this is a really good portable drive that you can bring along with you and use it. All right, here you go. That is how it looks like. It's really small, really compact, really convenient to bring it around. Okay, so, yep. So this end right here is a lightning lightning end and all you gotta do is just put it inside your, your phone and then you wanna turn it around and this part right here is where you put it into your laptop or uh, you know you can save it you can plug it into your laptop 
to save the photo that you transfer over to this unit or you can actually plug this into your TV actually. I actually just played around with it where you can actually put this into your TV and then you can actually watch it on your TV which is really cool you know so if your TV has this plug right here then you can transfer onto your TV really really cool really convenient all right so that's an unboxing of this uh, this unit and now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it real quick all right guys so right now like I said I'm gonna show you guys how to use it real quick here and before you guys are able to use it, you want to download this app right here, okay? It's called the iExpand Drive app, okay? And it looks like this right here, iExpand Drive app. Okay, so after you download it, um, go ahead and use your flash drive go here and plug it in. Okay, so you have to download the app first okay otherwise it's not gonna work since I downloaded it already once I plug it in it should lead me straight into the menu okay so it's gonna tell you right here I expand drive would like to communicate with the Sandis I expand v9 which is the app okay so you gotta download this app for it to uh, communicate with that uh, with this unit right here so download the app first and I'm going to go ahead and do allow because I already download the app. So once you uh, do that, now it's going to go in here and it's going to tell you what you have left. Okay. Or so right here it says 256 gigabyte free of space. Okay. Right here. And then once you basically transfer all of your videos and photos from your phone, this red thing right here is going to move. So it's letting you know that the space that you're used, uh, you know, it's used up. Okay. So pretty straightforward, you know, just a bunch of menu here that I don't really use. Okay. It just shows you a little bit here and there. I don't really do the, um, the automatic backup. I just do it myself. Okay. So if you guys want to do the automatic backup, you guys can ch check that option, but I'm, I usually just, um, transfer whatever, whatever I want at the time I don't like doing it automatically okay so and then right here as you guys can see it says copy I don't know why I got so bright there okay um, copy files view files backup and restore okay so the this one I don't really use okay if you want is I think it's for the automatic I believe and it just press refresh but I'm not gonna use this one I'm just gonna use these two okay so the purpose of, like I said, this unit is to save your photos and videos from your iPhone to this unit. So that way you can delete those photos and videos off your phone so you have space, right? So that's what that purpose is. So now we're gonna go ahead and do copy files, okay? And then there's gonna be two options for you. One is copy photos from iPhone or copy files from iXband Drive, okay? So our purpose here today is to use this first option because we want to copy the files, photos and videos only, okay, into this unit right here. So we're going to go ahead and choose the first, uh, the first option. Let me see if I can zoom it in a little bit here. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and choose this first option right here, copy photos from iPhone, okay. And as you guys can see, there are some of my photos and videos and all that stuff here. And if you want just the videos, you can actually go down here where it says album, tap on album, okay? And when you tap on album, it's gonna show you all these stuff that you have on your, uh, you know, iDrive. But we're gonna go ahead and, um, or I mean on your iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and tap on video so it's um, show the video only part first. And then most of the videos are right here, okay. So what we'll do is we'll download uh, this one right here, okay. Once you tap on that, let's say you want that video, you tap on that and on the bottom it says copy 
to iExpand Drive. That's what we're going to do. And then you can actually create a new folder right here. Okay. So let's say if you guys uh, have some other things, you know, like let's say you guys want to put in a, a certain folder. Like for me, this one's a YouTube video. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, a new photo. I'm going to call it YouTube, right? YouTube. So then I know that the stuff that I'm transferring over is YouTube. Or if you have like other stuff, like personal stuff, you can name the photo as personal or you can name it as, you know, food items or whatever. But mine is going to be for YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new YouTube photo. And it's going to go into that YouTube photos where it says YouTube on top, as you guys can see. And then we're going to put copy here. OK, so it's going to be a similar the same way for um, for pictures as well. OK, but this one we're doing for a video copy there. And then now it's moving. You guys see that? Done. Because my video is very short, so it went in pretty quickly. If you guys have like longer videos, it may take a while, but you know, it's it's pretty fast, even though it's, you know, seems like it's a long time, but it's pretty fast depending on how long the videos or the picture is, okay? And then it's gonna tell you, I expand just copy one file, delete it from your phone for free up to free up space, which is 56.7 megabytes. So obviously you wanna delete it, right? Because if you don't delete it, the purpose is to delete it so that way you have more space on your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and put delete, or you can do not delete, you know, if you don't want to, but for me, I have to delete it because I need to free up some space. So we're gonna go ahead and press delete. And then once you press delete, you just press acknowledge delete. And then that's gonna delete it off your phone. Sometimes it won't, it actually won't delete off your phone yet. Oh, in your phone, it's gonna be at the, the picture will be at the uh, deleted section. So you wanna go there and delete the phone or the picture or the video, okay? But that's just telling you that you're gonna delete that video. And then we're gonna press great. And then that's it. Okay, now we go back out and I'm gonna show you guys how to view that uh, video that or that picture that you guys just transfer over to the unit, okay? So instead of putting copy files, you're gonna go to view files. Okay, so we're gonna press view files and then we're gonna look for our folder called YouTube, which is right here, right? That's the folder that we met create earlier. And that's where the video was at. So now we got to tap, we're just going to tap on that. And then there's the video. Okay, so the video is right there, guys is right on the drive. And then there it is. That is this is one of the video, <laughs> one of the item I was eating earlier. And uh, there you go. So pretty, pretty straightforward. And you would do the same thing with a picture as well, okay? So let's just say copy files. We'll do one more time. We'll do a picture this time. Copy photos from iPhone. And then instead of putting album, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then, I mean, you could. You put like this, right? So you choose whatever you want to. But uh, we'll go back out. And then let's say this is the same... Um, there's a picture right here of the of the meal that I ate earlier. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And this is a picture, not a video. So we're going to go ahead down here. Copy to iExpand Drive. And then once again, you can create a new folder or you can leave it on the folder that you just created, which is YouTube, which is the one I just created. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And then I'm going to put copy here. And then it should copy that picture into my YouTube folder. And it was pretty quick because the picture is not that big, right? And then we're going to go ahead and delete it. I don't want it to be um, in my phone, so I'm going to delete it. Great. So I save 14.1 megabyte of space on my iPhone once I delete that picture. And then once again, if you guys want to retrieve that picture from the unit, the iExpand unit, you want to go back out. And then you're going to go View Files. Okay. And then we're going to go to YouTube right here. And then the, the photo should be right here. Uh, the, that picture should be right here.
Okay, there it is. That's it. All right, guys, so pretty straightforward. Um, in this video, just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Sandis Portable Flash Drive Go and also show you guys a very quick tutorial on how to set it up and how to transfer videos and photos from your iPhone. All right, guys, so I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Okay, guys, it doesn't cost you a penny, but it helps out my channel greatly, and I really appreciate you all. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.